climatologists are unanimous. The frequency of storms and rains will increase proportionately with global warming. During the next few decades, Europe's seas risk becoming more dangerous to frequent. But another risk which is slow and insidious is also stalking the coastal regions, the rise of oceanic water levels. The European public, which is more or less correctly informed, is rather familiar with this phenomenon. It will make like, the ice melt quicker and like, sea levels rise. J'entends dire que ça peut être 10-15 cm. The risks we run are foreseen with a certain pessimism. Les inondations, même en France, un peu dans tous les pays. Probablement catastrophe, inondations. As for the regions of Europe that are the most exposed, like cities down next to the water and stuff. Tous les pays qui ont un niveau de, qui sont près de la mer, qui sont au ras de la mer, risquent d'être submergés. The Netherlands, for example, you know. En Europe, les Pays-Bas, bien sûr. Approximately half of the Netherlands is vulnerable to flooding because it is relatively low-lying. Say one-third is, is actually under mean sea level, which is level. So if there would be no dikes, there would be water there. There are not many parts of Europe that are as vulnerable as we are. Logically, the Dutch population should be one of the most concerned in Europe about the consequences of global warming. But contrary to expectations, they aren't at all. The poll carried out by the European Clam Air project is very clear. We expected somewhere like the Netherlands to, to come in, if you like, top position um, because of the obvious threats of, of coastal flooding and inundation. But the Netherlands came out actually less worried. The Dutch exception can be found in the history of its confrontation with the sea. The Dutch began fighting the sea more than a thousand years ago to acquire fertile land, the polders. Today, certain protective dikes measure several dozen meters high. You could say that, that the quarter of our country nearly is reclaimed land. Consequently, the Dutch have an almost absolute confidence in the range of protective technologies of their lands against the sea. Noel Hoemeyers is a farmer in the Overdiepse polder to the south of Rotterdam. We met with my wife and we live here 35 years in the polder. We have here in the polder always very safe and enough. And that remains so. Set on the banks of the Meuse River, the Overdiepse polder has existed for over a hundred years. But now they must reckon with climate change and the possible rise in the water levels of the ocean. Does this prospect shake Noll's confidence? Uh, no. No. It, it is well so. A Dutch person has no fear against sea level rise. There's some, something in our culture that... Uh, that still puts in the mind of people that we Dutch people are able to deal with water. It is not a problem. It's uh, the combination of uh, um, being used to that kind of risk and having developed the means of protecting against it that gives some confidence that it will be possible also to uh, deal with some uh, increased risk. The sea water stijgt omdat de ijskappen smelten en alles. Dan ligt Nederland ligt natuurlijk laag. The Dutch government is taking the phenomenon of climate change very seriously and has launched studies on the impacts and the solutions to be found in the event of a rise in sea levels of two to even four meters by the year 2200, as the most pessimistic models of climatologists predict. Even for those extreme scenarios, it seems that it can be done. 
uh, and that it is economically viable. Ik, dan denk ik dat het vertrouwen is bij de, bij de overheid. That is a short statement that only confirms the Dutch exception, and which clearly goes against the grain of public opinion that's predominant in numerous European countries. The politics, it's a bit like a joke. It's a bit like a joke. It's a bit like a joke. It's a bit like a joke.